Today I'm going to talk to you about saving seeds from supermarket vegetables. Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome to Robin's Container Garden. Now that may sound like I'm actually repeating myself. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm actually going to show you how to save the seeds themselves and how to store them until they're ready to plant. And then we'll talk about a few challenges from saving seeds from supermarket purchases. Let's get going. First video from inside the greenhouse. This is so exciting. So if I look like Kermit the Frog, it's because the fabric reinforcement on here is green. So it might be cast in a green light. And if I don't look like Kermit the Frog, then that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what to do with these pepper seeds. Now, ironically enough, these are pepper seeds from a supermarket saved pepper that is a long Italian pepper like we had last year. And I'm gonna save these seeds to see kind of what happens with them. So I'm gonna get you up close and I'm gonna show you what, what to do with these. Okay, so you can see these are a little bit dried off, dried out, and they're already starting to come off. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish kind of letting them fall. What we did is when we had the pepper, we decided to say, and I bet I didn't. I didn't record any of that. So recording this way is a little bit new to me. So I didn't record any of that. <laughs> what I did was is that I took all the seeds off of this fleshy bit of this pepper we let sit and dry on the countertop in this ramekin and I just pulled all the seeds off oh here's one we'll film me taking this one off yay <laughs> so what I actually just said I can't believe I did that what I actually just said is that these are probably dry enough to be viable now but because that still has a little bit of pliability in it and it's still a little bit movable I think that I'm going to let these dry out in the airing cupboard for another week or so before I try to plant them now I don't know what we're going to end up with this is likely a hybrid just like the other one was and uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with these but I'll keep you posted and let you know what we end up with so I'm new to this macro kind of way of filming <laughs> so you'll have to just kind of forgive me for that so these are ready to go into the airing cupboard and they will um, just sit there for another week or so until it's time to plant them until I, I feel like they're dry enough they probably are feeling them now they are probably dry enough now but I just want to make absolutely sure there's not any moisture left in the seeds so the benefit of doing this is that seeds are expensive and even taking the chance of getting a hybrid plant is better than not having any seeds at all so what you want to do is get the kind of foods that you like to eat obviously you're not going to be able to get seed from lettuce that you get in the supermarket but anything that's got seeds in the supermarket peppers tomatoes you can even do this with tomatoes i've got a butternut squash plant that i'm growing that i saved seeds from the supermarket as an experiment cucumbers courgettes anything with seeds you can save those seeds and try to grow from those seeds and it'll save you money because like i said seeds are expensive speaking of expensive today is the day that i reveal the winner of the onion sets so I'm gonna go and get those onion sets and I'm gonna bring them out here and I'm gonna count them and we'll announce the winner on the screen I'll be right back a couple of weeks ago I opened up a competition to guess the number of onion sets in this punnet and a lot of you entered it was only open to the UK, unfortunately, because of customs laws and all that kind of stuff. I couldn't send them outside the country. But the winner of this one is whoever guessed 66 or lower. So whoever got closest without going over 
that's who won the onion sets. And the winner is right here, and I'll put your guess down there. So if that is your name, if that's your YouTube handle, get in touch with me at robinscontainergarden at gmail.com. That's the email address down there. And send me your address, and I'll send these to you free of charge. There's no charge at all, and you'll be able to get these onions in before it gets too late in the season. So congratulations. Well done. I'm hoping to do a few more of these through the season. Whoops. <laughs> through, through the year. We will see how it goes. It will depend on what I've got to give away, if there's anything to give away. And we're just going to kind of take it from there. So... We've got onion sets that have been won by this lucky person here. And we've got supermarket pepper seeds that have been saved and harvested. And we'll get those in the airing cupboard. And just remember, you don't have to grow all the things. Just grow something. Until next time, take care. Bye, y'all.